Hey, Chicky, how you doing? Coming in for a drink? Oh, you're coming right to me. Right on. <laughs> hey, how's everybody doing today? Oh, he's just a chicken. And, and buddy, Chicky, Chicky, buddy. <laughs> buddy here. Buddy's a little pissed off. My name is Bruce. I've been working bar for almost 40 years now. In that time, I've learned a trick or two that I'd like to pass on to you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We've got a lot of ground to cover. We'll look at some of the forgotten classics and some unusual new tasty creations right for any occasion. Cheers. Easter is the Christian celebration of the resurrection of Jesus, but the seasonal chocolate eggs and the bunny who delivers them are nowhere to be found in the scriptures. I know, I've looked. So why is there an Easter bunny? Well, rabbits have been associated with springtime since ancient times. It is believed that the goddess of spring, the Orstra, had a hare as a companion. The hare symbolizes fertility and rebirth. Later, Christians changed the symbol of the hare to the Easter Bunny. Okay then, what's up with Easter eggs? Well, eggs are also representative of new life, and it's believed that decorating eggs for Easter dates back as far as the 13th century. Hundreds of years ago, churches had their congregations abstain from eggs during Lent allowing them to be consumed again on Easter. According to the history, in the 19th century, Russian high society started exchanging ornately decorated eggs, even jewel encrusted, on Easter. But how did the Easter Bunny begin delivering eggs in North America? The theory, with the most evidence, is that sometime in the 1700s, the floppy-eared bearer of candy eggs came over with German immigrants who settled in Pennsylvania and transported their tradition of an egg-laying hair called Osterhays. Eventually, the custom spread across North America. According to the legend, children often left out carrots for the bunny in case he got hungry from all his hopping, and only the good children received gifts of colored eggs in the nests that they made in their caps and bonnets before Easter. So in honor of Easter and all that it brings, today we're going to make a creamy bunny. Ah, doesn't that sound good? A creamy bunny. Let's do this thing. Two ounces of coconut rum. <laughs> coconut. Then we've got this guy here, the uh, Avocat. It's an egg liqueur. Just a half an ounce. Half ounce of Bailey's. Irish cream. And then a little bit of uh, creme de cacao. Yeah, I know this is all uh, liqueur driven. A little chocolate going on there. And the final touch, <clears throat> we got some whipped cream. Oh! <laughs> what are they making today? Slap a lid on it and shake it like a bunny. The bunny shake. Ooh, the bunny shake. Okay, that looks pretty good. I've already prepped my coupe glass. I dipped it in honey, and then I dipped it in chocolate granola. Yum. <laughs> so let's uh, pour this out. Oh, yeah. A creamy bunny. Yum. Look how wonderful that looks. Okay, let's see what this thing tastes like. Wow, that's delicious. Really, you should make one. It's a creamy bunny. And if you're so inclined, grab a cream egg and throw the f***er in there. Happy Easter, everyone. May the bunny be with you. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Actually, I kind of like the egg floating in there. It looks kind of cool. Look at it. Check it out. Isn't that sweet? See ya. I'm hopping out of here.
So in honor of Easter and, and all that it brings, today we're going to make a creamy bunny. A creamy bunny. <laughs> so because it's Easter, we're going to make an Easter Happy Easter, everyone. Eat some ham. <laughs> A creamy bunny. Mm. <laughs> All right, we got to do one more. Thanks for your continuing support as we get through this construction thing. We'll be back in no time at all with a brand new bar telling more great stories and making more great drinks. Yeah. Be sure to like, maybe leave a comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.